Today, Europe faces a severe economic crisis with a devastating effect on people's jobs, on their opportunities, on their lives, particularly for the younger generation. Fixing this problem should be the top priority of every politician by investing for tomorrow's growth and innovating for tomorrow's jobs. I'm in no doubt where our hope should lie, with fresh, innovative startups, particularly those web entrepreneurs who use technology to innovate. It is they who can come up with new ideas and inspirations, create new jobs and jumpstart our economy. And that is exactly the kind of culture we need to be supporting. The people prepare to go out on their own, take a risk and try something new. That's the kind of culture you see across the Atlantic and Silicon Valley. We don't need to build Silicon Valley over here. We can have our own European dream. But I do know there is much we can learn about creating the climate for innovation. One thing I hear again and again is about the European attitude to failure. Dealing with failure is something we find difficult in Europe, and that makes a difference to every would-be startup. I can tell you, in life, sometimes I've failed, and sometimes I've succeeded, and I've definitely learned much more from the former. We need to change our attitude in Europe. When you are an entrepreneur, you have got to sell yourself. You take yourself and your CV round to potential investors, partners, staff, you seek support from friends and family. In Europe, people look at that CV. They see someone who's had several businesses that didn't work out, and all they see is a list of failures. They think, I'm not going to invest in this one. Then policymakers compound that mistake. They may genuinely want to encourage entrepreneurship, and they devise programs to support, but they see a low failure rate as a sign of success when they should be seeing the opposite, that if you are not taking a risk, you are not innovating. In America, they have a very different approach. So they should look at the CV and say, what do you mean? You haven't had any business before? Did you never take a risk? Were you even trying to do something new? Because true entrepreneurs realize that failure is just another word for experience. They see when something doesn't work out, it is the project that is the failure, not the person. In fact, even among Europeans who see entrepreneurship as a feasible career option, over 40% are put off by the fear of failure. That's about three times the level in America. Changing that culture is not easy, but the startup community needs to find its voice and affect that change. The Startup Europe Leaders Club is a group of talented people who have put together a manifesto for action, a list of ways Europe can support its entrepreneurs, including a mentality shift in how we define success. Check it out and sign up at startupmanifesto.eu. The members of that leaders club now run global businesses, Spotify, Rovio, Twenty and more. You could call them success stories, but you can bet Every one of them at some stages has failed at something. The EU Startup Europe program is about delivering the rules, recognition and resources those entrepreneurs need. But in many cases, the support comes best from national or local level. So I'm delighted with grassroots initiatives like startups.be. I hope we see many more like it across Europe. To all of you, my message is very clear. Be creative and fearless because Europe needs more people like you. And remember, if you never failed, you have never tried.